top researchers revealing former NFL player Philip Adams had an unusually severe case of CTE when he went on a deadly rampage in April, killing six people before taking his own life. Adams complained of excruciating pain from his injuries, often had memory issues, and difficulty sleeping. The study concluded that Adams' 20 years of playing football gave rise to the diagnosis of stage 2 severity of the degenerative brain disease. Stage 2 CTE is associated with progressive cognitive and behavioral abnormalities such as aggression, impulsivity, explosivity, depression, paranoia, anxiety, poor executive function, and memory loss. The neuropathologist who studied Adam's brain likening what she saw to one of the worst cases of CTE ever reported in a young person. Adam's CTE pathology was similar to that of another young NFL player, namely Aaron Hernandez. Hernandez, the former New England Patriots star who was convicted of murder in 2015, was diagnosed with stage three after his death by suicide in 2017. The condition, doctors say, does not occur naturally and is caused by repeated trauma to the head and is often linked to drastic changes in mood and behavior, violent outbursts, memory loss, and in rare cases, murder. Of the 700 people Boston University researchers have diagnosed with CTE, 315 of them were former NFL players, and 24 of those, athletes who died in their 20s or 30s. In the aftermath of the shootings, Adam's father, emotional, searching for answers. He was a good kid, and he, uh, I think the football messed him up. The family today expressing shock to see how far the disease had progressed and how little they say the NFL had done to help. Lisa McHale from the Concussion Legacy Foundation spoke on their behalf, describing the painful roadblocks that Adam's CTE created in his efforts to get help. We do know that he was desperately seeking help from the NFL, but was denied all claims due to his inability to remember things and to handle seemingly simple tasks, such as traveling hours away to see doctors. The NFL has not yet responded to NBC News' request for comment. All right, Sam Brock joins us now from Coral Gables, Florida. Sam, we heard there in your report Adams was trying to get help but clearly wasn't able to. How hard is it for these players to get the kind of attention and assistance they need because sometimes some major warning signs can be missed? It can be hard. According to Adam's family, Tom, it might not necessarily be an issue of resources, but really access. If you're someone who is losing your cognitive abilities, it might be really difficult to fill out extensive paperwork or drive hours away to go see physicians, which is why scientists here want to see the NFL repackage its help with an emphasis on advocacy to recognize those who are struggling. It is also worth noting you cannot diagnose at this point in time CTE while someone is still alive, making it even harder to intervene. And the NFL, Tom, it took them years until 2016 to even acknowledge a link between football and CTE. Tom. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.